करीब We're super thrilled to be here with all of you. Before we... and the life that you have within us. Pray for other life is Grace is more than sufficient. In Jesus' name, amen. Here she is, the one, the only, the gold-shoed Miss Aubrey. Let's give her a standing ovation. Well, uh, I'm Miss Aubrey. I'm the children's minister here, and we are thrilled because this year is our first full year back with our Wednesday night programs. It has an excellent year. We're here to celebrate. Ranger Kids and Discovery Rangers. They have had so much fun this year. They've worked hard. They've learned a whole lot, and I think they've really grown as friends and as followers of Jesus. And so that's something that we always want to celebrate. So we are going to get started with our littlest friends. We're going to bring up our ARC Club. And starting this year, let's give them a round of applause. Starting this year, our ARC Club grew to include our three-year-old. So we do have a new three-year-old in our group. So this is for our ages three through five who are in pre-K, not yet in kindergarten. Miss Bethany is an amazing leader. She does such an incredible job with these kids. The one thing she doesn't like to do is talk on a microphone in front of all you, of you. So I decided, you know, she does this every week. I think I can speak on your behalf. So each week the kids come in and we start with a time of worship and then they go to their classroom where they get to hear a Bible story. Then it's followed by one of Miss Bethany's amazing snacks. They always go with the theme and they're always super fun. You'll see a couple pictures coming up where some of her snacks are. There were a couple times Bethany this year, and the pressure was on. If you don't get the snack just right, they're not going to be too happy. So I had to get the snack just right. I don't think it was as good as hers, but she puts in a ton of work. She teaches them a Bible lesson, does a snack that goes with it, and then also has some craft time to go along to reinforce that Bible lesson. And then, of course, they get to end the evening playing with their friends. It has been a joy to watch them grow. They have become such. And Miss Bethany has a few who will be moving up to the next class this year. So it'll be, we'll be making way for the new ARC Clubbers. You have five Five of the seven who are moving up. So we celebrate that with them. So uh, Miss Bethany has a certificate for them. We're going to call them up, and she's got a goodie bag. You can see some of them are starting to enjoy that already. It's pretty exciting. And we are going to ask them what was their favorite part of ARC Club. So we are going to start with our youngest ARC Clubber, Maverly. 
Maverly, can you come up here? All right. Here you go, Miss Bethany. Maverly, what did you like best about ARC Club? My mom. Your mom. She's pretty amazing, isn't she? She is. I liked that Maverly, if we would tell a Bible story, she could repeat the whole thing back almost immediately and retell the story. It was pretty amazing. Maverly joined us in the spring because she turned, how old are you, Maverly? Three. Three. She turned three, and we're so glad to have her for the next couple years. Yay, Maverly. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Atlas. Atlas, what was your favorite part of ARC Club? Playing. Playing. I love it. Atlas will be moving up to the Ranger Kids next year, so they will definitely miss him in ARC Club. All right, next we have Edie. Edie, what was your favorite part of ARC Club? Everything. Everything. <laughs> and Edie will be moving up to the Girls Club next year. So we'll miss Edie in the ARC Club. Yeah. All right. And we have James. James, what was your favorite part of ARC Club? Playing. Playing. Yay, James. And James will move up next year, too, to the Ranger Kids. Well, we are so proud of you, ARC Club. We hope you have a great summer. And if you see the person who brought you tonight, you can go sit with them, okay? Let's give them one more round of applause. Next, I'm going to invite Miss Audra up with our girls' club. All right, good evening. Thank you guys all for coming out tonight. I've had a really great time. a lot of fun we played a lot of games and and you know obviously we did a lot of learning but we had a lot of fun too so in our program what we do is we follow a curriculum that takes us kind of on the around the globe right so we study different parts of the world different countries different areas all while also studying characteristics of Jesus so this uh, year for the fall and the spring we studied four different units and we focused on Jamaica Mexico Hawaii, and Paris. So we end each one of those units with a night of food and games. And let me tell you, these girls, they like to eat. Okay? You would think that would be true about the boys, and I'm sure that it is, but girls, what was your favorite food night? Mexico. <laughs> yeah. So we had, a, uh, we had quite the spread uh, following our Mexico unit. We did try some authentic Jamaican food. Um, we found some good recipes for that, so we had some fun trying some new foods and just learning as much about Jesus and uh, the cultures in these different areas as possible. So our first stop, Jamaica, what we were focused on during that session was discovering true joy. And on our trip to Jamaica, we met an interesting character named Mr. Dollarsworth. You guys remember Mr. Dollarsworth? Um, and he was pretty confused about where joy really came from. But after a few weeks, we were finally able to convince him that true joy doesn't come from money and it doesn't come from things.
was while we visited Jamaica. Rejoice in the Lord, I will say it again. Rejoice, Philippians 4.4. 4. On our next stop, we made it to Mexico just in time for the Christmas celebration La Posada. We met a gentleman named Bobby Blunder who was on a mission trip with, with his children, but he tried to make the whole trip about himself. While in Mexico, we learned what it means to worship God and that there are many ways to honor God through worship. Bobby learned that life isn't always about ourselves, but it feels good to put other people first and to worship God. The point we learned in Mexico is that we can worship God in all that we say and do. We studied in the book of Luke, and our memory verse is going to be recited by Mila and Hannah. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be blessed in your sight. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. started a lesson on having the right attitude. In fact, we learned about having an aloha attitude while we visited Hawaii. In Hawaii, we met a man named Hisa Bummer. And you guessed the attitude. Hisa didn't like anything or anyone, but this great group of girls were able to convince him that having an attitude of gratitude and being more like Jesus made life much more enjoyable. The point we focused on while in Hawaii was that we can choose a good attitude no matter what. We studied about Jonah and how he tried to run from God's plan, and we all know how that story ends. Our Bible verse from Hawaii will be recited by Madalena. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalms 51.10. Our last stop was to the beautiful city of Paris. We had a wonderful time taking in the sights and the smells. We met a young man named Sammy Stitcher who was trying to break through in the fashion world. Unfortunately, Sammy was the victim of peer pressure and often looked foolish. He wore a trash bag and a bucket on his head because he followed the advice of others who did not have his best interest in mind. This group of girls taught Sammy the difference between good influence friends and bad influence friends, as well as how to handle tough peer pressure situations. We studied Samson and how he too struggled with peer pressure. We learned not to let people pressure us into things that aren't pleasing to God. Our memory verse for our trip to Paris will be recited by Gail and Piper. Great job, girls. So they worked very hard every unit to memorize their Bible verse, and I bet you after, uh, after the ceremony, if you ask them what frog stands for, they should all be able to tell you. F-R-O-G. Okay? So I would like to honor Linda Wagner. She's not here because her family moved to Arizona. But she was my classroom helper uh, throughout the year, and this is just a small snippet of the girls that we had <laughs> during the session. There are several girls who are not here today, and it would not have been possible to manage that classroom without an extra pair of hands. So in case she's watching online, Miss Linda, thank you. And then I also want to say a big thank you to Mason. Um, so you heard about the characters that we met in each of our journeys. He... Um, entertained his mom for a bit and came in and portrayed all of these characters for us each and every week. So thanks, bud. Um, the girls had a good time. One of you. <laughs> all right. And with that, let me hand out some certificates. So we'll start with our youngest girls club member, Natalie.
Next we have Hannah. Madalena. Piper. Abby. And I have one kiddo graduating up to 180, Miss Gale. All right, thank you. I'll hand it back over to Miss Aubrey. You guys can go find the person who brought you. All right, next we are going to invite our rangers up, and they're going to lead us in what they do each week for their opening ceremonies. So we're going to ask both ranger groups to come up for opening ceremonies, and then Commander Kevin will lead that for us. Okay, we always start with, good evening, and then you say, but the crowd can do better, right? Good evening. Good evening. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. It kind of is, yeah. So we're going to do our, our pledges, and you can follow along with us. We'll start with the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pledge the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood, uniting all true Christians in service and in love. Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Matthew 7, 12. Ranger pledge, with God's help, I will do my best to serve God, my church, and my fellow man, to live by the ranger code, to make the golden rule my daily rule. Ranger motto, ready, ready for anything. Ready to work, play, serve, worship, live, and obey God's word. Ranger code. A royal ranger is alert. He is mentally, physically, and spiritually alert. Clean. He is clean in body, mind, and speech. Honest. He does not lie, cheat, or steal. Courageous. He is brave in spite of danger, criticism, or threats. Loyal. He is faithful to his church, family, outpost, and friends. Courteous. He is polite, kind, and thoughtful. Obedient, he obeys his parents, leaders, and those in authority. Spiritual, he prays, reads the Bible, and witnesses. Ranger rules, be courteous, be obedient. They, they like that part. All right. Okay, uh, I think Discovery Rangers can go back to your seat. Ranger kids can stay. Good evening. I'm Miss Jeanette. I'm one of the ranger leaders here with my friend Dan, Commander Dan. And these boys have learned a lot this, uh, this year. Uh, we are on the trail of the, which trail are we on, boys? Tiger, right. Do you remember the lynx? The lynx, yes, and the panther. So 
So they did all four of those uh, uh, of our big cats in order to get their big uh, <laughs> cougar advancement. In addition to that, they also were able to um, get their achievement badges that we earned in class, as Asher is uh, demonstrating. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, turn around, boys. Show them your, your uh, achievements there. Okay, Asher, that's good. All right. Um, to get those, uh, some of them that they got was nature. We went on a nature trail looking for our walking sticks. Uh, history. We were supposed to go on a field trip uh, for history, but we had YouTube in our room, so we did that <laughs> via, via TV. And then also art was one of their badges. But they did uh, have the opportunity to get up to 12 badges of achievements in class. So part of the learning that they did um, were for the four gold points. So the emblem that they have on, their, on the front of their vest is comprised of eight blue points how a boy grows? What's the four different ways? Mentally, physically, socially, and spiritually. Exactly. Very good. Very good. I think they like the social part the best. <laughs> and then as far as um, the other red points on their, on their emblem, guys, is for um, what we believe, which is we believe in salvation by in Jesus and ask him into our heart. Healing, there's divine healing, baptism of the Holy Spirit, and the second coming. And then the eight blue points are, is what the boys demonstrated for you here tonight when they went through the code of being alert, clean, honest, loyal, courteous, obedient, spiritual. Did I miss any? I think we got them. All right. So with that, with all that hard work, Commander Dan, I'll hand it to you. All right, I just want to say uh, really proud of these boys, uh, working hard to get these uh, achievements all year long. And uh, each night, we, uh, we got a lot to cover, and they're focused, and, uh, and they get to, get to work and get it done. So I just want to uh, present. Has someone been sneaking up on us and taking pictures of us? I think so. Who would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Asher Doolin, everybody. Aaron, front and center. There you go, buddy. Show it up. Good job, Aaron. Wesson, your turn. Okay, round of applause for uh, Ranger Kids. What's that? Oh, one announcement. Uh, we have one graduate, Asher. He's moving up to... Ladies and gentlemen, Discovery Rangers. Hi, I'm Commander Kevin. This is Commander Joe. This is our class of uh, amazing boys. We, we had a great year. Um, we had incredible uh, turnout, and the boys were really engaged and really um, loved everything about being a ranger. Um, so we always do a Bible study every Wednesday night. So we, um, we uh, saw Daniel come out of the lion's den. We saw the Holy Spirit come down as tongue in the book of Acts. Um, we saw the world created. We saw the Israelites freed as they were uh, freed from slavery out of Exodus. Uh, and we saw the walls of Jericho fall down and we learned some other things too so we had a really great time with our bible lessons um, every week the boys 
get a memory verse, so they memorized a lot of, of scriptures along the way, and uh, at the same time, they earned rewards doing that each week. Um, then we also always, at the end, we always have a game. So we, we enjoy playing Foursquare. That's mostly our favorite game. We play kickball, um, dodgeball, the lava game when, the, when it's cold outside, and steal the bacon. It's, it's uh, one of the things they look at. At the end of the night, we always get to play a game. So that helps uh, keep us focused because we, we need that. Um, this year, we're losing a bunch of our guys. They're going on to 180. We're going to um, just kind of raise your hand when I call your name. We're going to be losing Mason and Dylan and Jake. Uh, we're get a lot out of it and uh, Joe's going to come and tell you all about our achievements for this year. I'm, I'm Commander Joe. Thanks for being here tonight. I, I know this is all about the boys but really quick just let me run through some, some thank yous. Uh, first of all thank you to my wife Linda uh, for sharing me Wednesday nights and not only Wednesday nights but all throughout the week as I prepared the lessons for the, for the badges. Uh, thank Miss Aubrey for all of the tremendous work she does behind the scenes to make all of this happen. Uh, thank you to the parents for sharing your boys with us on Wednesday night. It's it's an honor and, and a And, and that is that's only possible because of all your support for the church. And then I want to thank the boys for putting up with me every Wednesday night. So we do uh, badges of achievement. Uh, we work on about, uh, we do about a five week uh, session to, to earn one badge. Uh, one of the things I, I learned early is I always try to prepare information that, that would be new to the boys, that would teach them something. And I quickly discovered that they know a lot more than I thought they did. Uh, most of the times when we start these badges, you know, I, I find out that there's, there's several boys that, that could probably come up here and teach the lesson themselves. So that was. Um, so anyway, the badges we did this year, we started with hobbies. We learned about hobbies, uh, how they're good for you. they started was if they had any younger brothers or sisters, they were not allowed to practice the knot tying <laughs> on, their, on, their, on their younger siblings. Um, after that, we did art, and we did a combination of um, uh, modeling, uh, paper mache, and painting. And, and this was as we were leading up to the Christmas break, so we just had them do a, a Christmas or a winter theme. Uh, but beyond that, they could do anything they wanted to. And, and these boys just blew me away with their, with their imagination, their creativity, and their skill in, in producing uh, some of these, uh, some of these uh, things that they did. Oh, we had, we had snowmen. We had a, actually a snow dog. I think we had a turkey, uh, ornaments, Christmas trees, and a manger. So I was, they really did a good job on that. At the Christmas break, um, we did sign language. And they don't call it a language for nothing because it is, it is really is a language in itself and it takes a lot to learn it. And we obviously couldn't learn the whole language in five weeks, but we, uh, we gave it a good shot and, and they learned a lot. Does anybody remember what the most important sign is? Let's see it. What's it? I mean, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's the letter T uh, for toilet. When you, you shake them like that, it, it bangs. So after sign language, we did fingerprinting. Uh, we learned a lot about how fingerprints are uh, classified. We learned about whirls and loops and arches 
Uh, we learned about how fingerprints are used to identify people. And if we have it, oh, let's go to the crime scene investigation. Next slide. Uh, this is episode, episode number 66. We did this with the boys during the fingerprint session at the, at the end. But first of all, you can't have a crime without a law. The law is no cookies before dinner. Next slide, the crime. Someone stole the cookies. And then, of course, we had to have evidence. We had to print on the cookie jar. We have to have so <laughs> quite a motley crew of suspects. These suspects all came up with some really creative alibis. Uh, so just be careful of that, parents, when, <laughs> when you're talking to these boys. So we examined the evidence. Uh, we, we looked at the fingerprints that the boys gave us, and we tried to compare them and see who the, the guilty person was. And in the end of all that, we discovered it was Dylan. <laughs> guilty as charged. The reason it um, so fingerprinting after fr uh, fingerprinting we did um, we did uh, space exploration and we talked about animals in space people in space and just things in space like rovers that we've sent in helicopters that we actually have sent uh, to Mars and then at the and the, and then to, to to end the year. Uh, we spend the last couple of weeks uh, talking about a very important subject, and that's America's Christian heritage. Um, and pleased and honored at the, the boys' uh, uh, interest in this and the attention that they paid, and, and not only what they learned, but what they knew uh, going into that. And then I think you saw some pictures when we were uh, when they were doing the slideshow at the last week. Last week, uh, we did our second annual flag retirement ceremony. Uh, where we re retired uh, used flags by burning them. And that's it. We had a great time. All right. I'll, I'll invite all the boys to turn around real quick and show. And we have certificates for each, each boy. Starting with Waylon. Next is Mason. <laughs> Atticus. Jake. Dylan. Emerson. Everett. Braylon. You can go find who came to church with tonight. Thank you. All right, let's. Before we go anywhere, I want to do a few thank yous. And I want to start. Um, you saw the boys show off all their patches, and they earned a lot. Did you see all those? Um, we can't get those on their vests without somebody to sew them on. And so Mr. Joe mentioned his wife, Miss Linda, and I just want to bring her up to give her a little gift and say thank you because she stitched every one of those patches. Thank you, Miss Linda. It makes the boys feel so special. I'm sure you could tell. Say that I'm so grateful that the boys here 
come and the girls here come to church and are learning about Jesus. I'm so proud of each and every one of you guys. Uh, Miss Jeanette, Mr. Dan, Mr. Joe, and Mr. Kevin, if you could come on up. We, um, every week we These leaders show up faithfully every single week to be here. They love on these kids. They form relationships with them. We're really big on consistency of an adult and how that shows kids the face of God. When a consistent adult shows up for them, they feel consistent throughout the week and um, even leading up to for each week being here and racing from wherever you're coming from, whether it be <laughs> one of your kids' sporting events, from work, from wherever it may be, we appreciate that you take the time to be here and make this special. Uh, you're making a huge difference in their lives, and we cannot thank you enough. So. And just another thank you to parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and everyone who makes sure that from a far distance, and some of you come from a close distance, and we are just so grateful and appreciative that you prioritize the growth of your children's faith, and we thank you for your support, and we want to celebrate the end of the year with ice cream. Yeah. So <laughs> we um, would love to have you join us out in the lobby and maybe out in the front of the church if it's not storming or raining to um, enjoy an ice cream treat with us and just celebrate the start of summer. Just a reminder, VBS is coming up June 26th through June 30th. We would love to have all the kids there to join us and then we'll see you back in August to start another round of Wednesday nights. Thank you so much.